Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay. All right. Hello, Doug. Um, so this is our, uh, our problem is the Richardson's arms race model. So this is a, it's a, it's, it's a equation. Two equations are given to represent uh, two countries in an arms race and represent. So we have, we're given six variables and two rates. So we're given, we're given we have two equations that represent two different countries. So we have America and Russia. This, uh, so we have A of A times R of T and with R, okay, yeah, yeah. A and R are reaction pairs. So A and R are the reaction of a country's sphere. A and T are the rate of which they're spending, of the other country's spending. So like, then what we'll have like, lowercase r yeah. and a are the reaction right. here and then uppercase a and r are the rate of spending of each mm. country negative m and n yeah. m and n are the countries or restrictions on their spending and h and d represent the other factors which could be like un sanctions or trade deals with other countries or diplomatic issues so yeah yeah, yeah. and so so in america's um with Russia's spending, um, you multiply Russia's spending by America's reaction to their spending, and you subtract America's um, spend, restrictions, uh, restrictions, restrictions to their spending yeah. plus the constant to find out uh, the rate of America's spending. Yeah. So here is our spider code. Yeah. It so we have our con we have our constants in our equations, and we just run it through. We, we right now we have our initial um, rate. We just found a graph that looked really nice, and that's where, how how we started. It's like a piece scenario, like if one they have relatively the same reaction reactions and the relative same um, spending and the relative same like close to other factors tend to have good terms, and it's pretty nice. So yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we can show it better on the PowerPoint, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so here we have our constants and our initial rates. They're like almost the same, like I'm trying to get a good graph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the exponentially at the start of the arms race, it's like uh, uh, they're trying to compete with each other to get more weapons. And then it starts to uh, plateau because they realize they can't out like source the other. And so it's just a constant rate. So we call this like a peace scenario where it's just constant and the equilibrium is great and all. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Once they reach an equilibrium, they both spend uh, just about the same amount. Yeah. And keep um, it. It's just, it's peaceful. Yes. And nothing happens. So there is like equal reaction and equal uh, rates of spending. Not rates of spending, but the uh, stuff they spend on or their, what their restrictions are. Yep. And other contributing factors, which could <laughs> could be so many things. So yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Okay. And they both started out. Oh, then we kept the four, yeah uh, initial spend. conditions. The rate, the rate is been uh, about the same. So yeah, yeah. Or it is the same. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So after that, we changed it a little bit. So, so we yeah. From. From here, America's fear factor was, was 1.7. Then we, ch no, we changed that to just we just significantly increased it to three. So like, it's just somehow above. Like I think Russia was um, pretty close to it, and we made America's go extra, like more, just increase it, and we want to see what happened. Just having a little more reaction to it could just lead to like such a extreme circumstances where they exponentially grew, they're exponentially growing at a really fast rate mm -hmm. in this one but this one is just like just goes 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 and never stopped never plateaued in this exponential growth yep. so and here we just we call this a total war scenario <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is this is our original graph and then this is the change and the reaction rate uh, from 1.7 to 3 for America. So because changing you, it, America's- like, It's like, it's like yeah. not logical thinking and fear it takes over a populace or something. And there's just like, and like, especially for America, since America is more, has a democracy rather than a totalitarian government. America just goes like crazy with the political p 
people trying to keep in office and stuff with policies and political views and stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. So it doesn't it doesn't matter how Russia reacts to America in this scenario. If America is changing their fear factor by doubling it, which increases their spending, and since Russia sees America is spending even more, they, then they're going to spend more. Mm -hmm. And so both graphs for America and Russia, uh, their spending will continue to go up over time mm -hmm. exponentially. Yeah. So yeah, that's and because the fear factor is so high, it's not going to plateau. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. All right. Well, everything else is relatively the same. Yeah. So, so here we're changing. I think this G was uh, uh, yeah, other other contributing factors. So in this situation, we have America. We, in America's equation, we made G negative three. It's three through negative three, and just. Because those are the only variables we've discovered in these constants that can be uh, changed intermittently. So they could be positive or negative, while the other two have to be positive or the other one has to be negative. So we change it. So this is America's um, other contributing factors. Since it's like such a low standard and Russia has such a, uh, they have a little aggression, but not too much. It shows like a nice steady, like they start off in, like we say in the beginning of the arms race, start off high try to keep up with the other. And they're relatively close while Russia's lagging behind because we have America has a higher uh, spending rate, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah, spending. And it just goes a constant. And like we see here, just goes down in the time, over time with spending where they just spend less and they were like in them like on a more peaceful terms, I guess. I guess like kind of like how the Cold War, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain really because I don't really know that much. And so it starts off high, peers off, and just peaceful. So, yeah. So, in this scenario, the, the G constant can represent um, since America is a democracy, the population of America has a lot, uh, a lot of say in what their government does. So America's populace may not be as fearful of Russia as their go as well, our government. Well, Russia's is. government only has like the army. They have to worry about to a coup d'état, you know. Yeah. So they have to appease them. Yeah. So America's populace being less mm -hmm. fearful and more welcoming of Russia mm -hmm. would decrease the constant, mm -hmm. decrease the spending, uh, which would then uh, uh, translate into America spending less on. Uh, their arms, which would force Russia to spend less in their Cause arms. Because they don't, they don't have such a high fear factor anymore because of that constant. Because America's diplomatic or opinion is good of Russia, in a sense. Mm -hmm. These other factors. They could be a multitude of things. We just wanted to show what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Um, oh yeah. This. This one, we, we just, we kept the same baseline equation and now we changed it, changed the rate of change. So we made uh, America's spend, rate of spending a lot higher than Russia's spending. The so, initial rate of spending was America and Russia yeah, was spending yeah. 0.4. Mm -hmm. And then we changed America's initial spending as 12 and Russia's as 0.2. <laughs> this is like barely anything. Yeah. So we plugged that in to see what would happen. In this so scenario. it's interesting. I didn't didn't go how I thought it would. I thought America would uh, win. I mean, but then I look at it, I'm like, no, that makes sense. Because America puts itself in the bank. America starts off really high spending. But <laughs> I mean, oh, that's not right. <laughs> it's our initial growth. Yeah. Then yeah. yeah. America starts spending more really high but can't keep up that spending. So like has to spend, can't put in less stuff. Well, Russia has such a low spending that they just slowly catch up. I mean, they catch up halfway, but it's enough to uh, catch up enough where they don't have to spend as much because America put itself in bankruptcy or something like yeah. that. And you start off like high tensions because America's spending so much. Well, Russia's like, oh no. <laughs> and then peers off really quick and then becomes uh, equilibrium somehow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. because Russia's initial spending is so low, they have to try to catch, catch up. up so quickly with America. In America, since their spending is already so high, high they're going to drop down lower. Because they just 
yeah. put themselves in bankruptcy, spending so much so fast. But Russia, like the tortoise and the hare, you know, the hare goes really fast, but the tortoise slowly catches up. Yeah. Uh, Until they reach yeah, the almost equilibrium. Yeah. About like five. the end of the race, you know. Like, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And okay. So this is where we modified it, where we just decided in our initial uh, equations to just take out the other contributing factors and see what happens. What we noticed is like there's, I mean, it's almost the same uh, kind of, like in a weird way they do affect it as we showed before, but at the same time, it just depends on the other variables in which it's taking place. While these are, we, as we said, we have it in a relatively peaceful setting. Mm -hmm. So if we just take away those factors that it's still in a relatively peaceful setting because everything's similar. So America's, you know, they all, as every arms race starts off high in spending, but then um, they see that they're about the same, so they spend less, and it's just, just, it's just gonna be like that. It's like a slow arm, it's like a really slow arms race of, yeah. of attrition, you know? It lasts the longest. So their spending yeah. goes down lower and lower. Yeah. So I would say in summation, all of these graphs show and prove that in Richardson's arm race, arms race, uh, just about any, just about uh, most of the scenarios will show how um, in an arms race, each country is going to change over time to reach the, an almost try equilibrium. To they're always trying to compete or form, form some kind of equilibrium, whether that's total war, that equilibrium is just everywhere, or it's just peaceful. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Or a constant growth of yeah. spending. Yeah. In their so it's like it shows scenarios like they either end peacefully or end in war. Those are the scenarios. The two possible outcomes that can happen. Yeah. Whether in the, it's just how you can determine it by how the graph goes over time. Yep. Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah. That is it. Yep, that's it. Oh, sorry.